I have a story here from the Wall Street Journal a couple of days ago that has not gotten any attention. Green jobs brownout, or how to spend $157,000 per job. Now listen to this, folks. Listen to this. We're already dumping taxpayer dollars all over a solar industry that doesn't work. Solyndra, just the tip of the iceberg. George Miller IV, the son of a big-time Democrat member of Congress in California, he got, I think, a billion dollars from the federal government for a solar energy firm that's going to make its products in Mexico. This is, it defies explanation what's happening. There's no business there. There is no industry. And this regime is continuing to funnel taxpayer dollars to a non-existent business, solar energy and panels and so forth. A new report by the Labor Department's Office of Inspector General examined a $500 million grant under the stimulus program to the Employment and Training Administration to, quote, train and prepare individuals for careers in green jobs, unquote. So far, about 16, or, I'm sorry, $162.8 million has been spent. The program was supposed to train 125,000 workers. Only 53,000 have been trained so far. Of the 53,000 who have been trained for careers in green jobs, only 8,035 have found jobs, and only 1,033 were still in the job after six months. So we have a half a billion dollars in stimulus money, porculous money, supposed to go to jobs training for so-called green jobs. Three years later, only a third of that money has been spent. Only 40% of the people who were to be trained have been trained. And only 15% of those trainees have gotten jobs, and only 12% of those people have kept the job for six months. So all told, fewer than 1% of the people who were supposed to be put in green, green jobs training program now have jobs, and it only has cost $157,000 per job. And there's no business there. But... That's not all. There is more. The regime has expanded the definition of green jobs now to include bus drivers, EPA regulators, university professors. That now qualifies as a green job and therefore suitable for federal funding. Even the Washington lobbyists who have been scoring these bad green energy loans. Meanwhile, Obama's latest jobs bill asks for more of exactly the same kind of jobs training for more green jobs. Now, the inspector general who uncovered this latest fraud says the still unspent money from the green jobs training program should go to reduce the deficit. He doesn't realize that this leftover stimulus money was always meant to be left over. It was always meant to be unspent. This is the slush fund. This is Obama's stash, the unspent stimulus money meant to provide the regime with their walking around money for the 2012 elections. This Obama stash, all under the guise of job training for green jobs. And again, the numbers supposed to train 125,000, and now after six months, only 1,033 are still in the job. And the number is going to fall because there is no green industry. In creating, trying to create the impression that the Tea Party's dead. Yeah, wishful thinking. It's still a bunch of racists, but it's dead.